Hello and welcome back. This is our second installment of the First Baptist Cooking Show. So, man, we still figure out what we're going to call it, but it'll work for now. Hey, tonight we're going to have some fantastic rhubarb pie. So, just keep watching and enjoy the show. Thank you. I'm Jackie, and this is Jackie's Quarantine Kitchen. Um, I'm going to make today my grandma's rhubarb custard pie. This is a pie that she made many times growing up. I even remember going and picking rhubarb with her and being very confused when I picked the rhubarb and ate it and discovered it was not nearly as good as it was when it was in pie form. If you don't know what rhubarb is, it's basically sour celery, but if you add a ton of sugar and butter to it, it tastes delicious. So I'm going to use her recipe with her handwriting, which is very special to me. So I often do this um, annually when rhubarb comes out, just to remember my grandma. Uh, I'm going to walk you through uh, some of the ingredients in the process and we'll see how it goes. So here are the basic ingredients. What's missing from this is eggs and milk that will make up part of the custard. But in general, um, all of the ingredients are here. Some nutmeg for the custard. Um, lots of sugar for the rhubarb and then we are gonna make our own pie crust although grandma never did that grandma just did that boxed Pillsbury pie crust and it always turned out delicious so grandma was a smart lady but I don't have any of that and it's quarantine so I'm not gonna go buy it I'm just gonna try to make my own pie crust which doesn't always turn out great but I'm gonna go for it so here we go okay so dough is made We've got them in little I don't know what balls, discs, they're gonna go in the fridge. How do they look, pie makers? See, is it too too big of chunks of butter or just right? Too dry, too wet? We won't know till we till the very end. That's what's crazy about pie dough. Alright, see you soon, pie dough. Okay, it's pie dough rolling out time. Um pray for me. Okay, I'm mixing up, starting to mix up the custard. I put the sugar, flour, and nutmeg in here. Two things of note, I noticed on grandma's recipe, two and two thirds tablespoon of milk. You see it about halfway down? Two and two thirds tablespoon. What kind of measurement is that, grandma? And then I almost made a big boo-boo and almost used almond milk. I think that would make grandma roll over her in her grave. So I'm gonna, get out the regular milk that grandma would approve of. Okay, so custard and rhubarb stirred together, put in base crust, waiting for top crust. But look at this crust, look at that, that's not right. It held together, but kind of, the edges didn't really, but uh, Hopefully it'll be fine, but please weigh in in the comments. I'm sure a little too little water, too much water. Who knows? Anyways, uh, the next moment you'll see is it going into the oven. Here we go. Okay, we have made it this far in the oven. It looks like a pie. Hopefully it tastes like a pie. We finished. The pie is done. We can get closer. Looks kind of good, right? It smells good. Looks good. Um, you came on this journey with me of pie making, and this is a very typical journey that I experience with pie making is in the middle there, I get a little shaky and the crust doesn't look right. Things aren't going well. And I, I feel very strongly in those moments that I will never make pie again. And then it turns out it's not perfect, but it's, tastes good. I mean, it's pie, so it's hard to really have it taste bad. But um, so we'll see how it tastes later. But for now, I'm pretty pleased and I'm thinking, hmm, maybe I'll make pie again. So thank you for being with me on this leg of the journey. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, hope you got a laugh or learned something or feel really good about your pie making skills. Um, if you make an excellent pie dough, works well every time, I salute you. I, I'll all due respect to you. Uh, thank you for joining me in Jackie's uh, quarantine kitchen. <laughs>